Doctor, let me check the donor heart. It's perfect. It is alive. Hey guys, welcome to Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm Jeremy Yoder, and today we're gonna to do something completely different from the ordinary. We're gonna do something, as a matter of fact, I've never done before, maybe the most mad scientist thing I've ever tried to cook. Today, we're cooking beef heart. Okay, so before we dig into this heart, a couple things, okay? So some people are asking about this facial hair. Well, that's because we're gonna get a visit from your favorite redneck barbecuer, Randy. You're gonna be seeing some Cooking with Randy episodes coming up. Uh, also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the notification bell so you can get new content whenever we put it out. Uh, and the third thing is I just had that ear surgery and so I'm finally getting up, you know, back on my feet and can actually start doing things. I'm, allowed to bend over now so we're just trying to make regular content i should be able to be putting out a video once every week so look forward to that and uh, thank you guys for your support for the channel it's been really really encouraging to me and i'm going to keep putting out great content for you guys this is a beautiful four and a half pound beef heart and this is from porter road they aren't sponsoring this video but i'm going to include a link in the description down below it is really good quality stuff they dry age things whole carcass and if you're interested in getting to dry age but you're afraid of the crazy cheesy flavors or sometimes even rotten meat flavors if things aren't aged properly try this first okay i think you're going to be very satisfied you're going to be very happy with the quality of what they do everything is pasture raised everything um you know is something that's that's cared for properly it's not something that goes to a feed lot and you look at it and you think oh wow that's the meat i'm eating but instead it's cows munching on grass roaming around a field and they get grain at the end of their lives to fatten them up a little bit so it's caring for the animal in a way that is ethical but if you don't care about ethically raising beef and you just care about the quality of meat or if you are a bleeding heart animal lover and you really, really, really care about the animals, the answer is gonna be the same in each case. Because the better you care for the cattle, the better the beef is gonna end up being. And so in this case, the best quality is gonna satisfy both needs. If you need something that's ethically raised, this is your answer. If you need something that just tastes amazing, has great marbling, and is gonna be like a showstopper at a fancy dinner you try to pull off, this is the answer. So that's why I am super excited about trying this heart. I've wanted to try heart for a long time, and finally I have an opportunity to give it a shot, and I'm very happy that I know that this is coming from the highest quality source. So if I don't like it, well, it's not because it's low quality. And if I do love it, I know that, okay, this is kind of the top of the mountain. I should really savor each and every bite of this because it is gonna be top-notch stuff. All right, now it's time to trim this guy up. So we got some fat only on the exterior because the heart is a working muscle. Okay, humongous cow, four and a half pound heart. Okay, so it works a lot, it works all the time, and it's very lean meat. But there's some fat on the exterior. But that fat isn't the kind of fat you wanna eat. It is kind of a waxy, very hard, um, like mouth coating type of fat that you don't really want. So we're gonna trim all that off. And then also, the heart has four chambers, so we have two ventricles and two, what's the plural of atrium? Atria, we have two atria as well. So we're gonna separate those out so we can get flat cuts of meat so we can grill them properly. I've seen some people who just kind of hack this thing all up and throw it on a grill or throw it into a cast iron pan. Uh, I'm gonna try and make at least things that look like steaks out of these. But first step is trim off all the fat on the exterior. And then on the interior, if you guys wanna look at this, we have all kinds of membrane and kind of connective tissue, maybe little blood vessels. I wanna get all that out. So I'm gonna cut these into flat steak-like things that I can then grill and get lots of good flavor on. And uh, let's get to trimming. I'm gonna start trimming these guys into separate pieces here. Looks like I've got kind of a coronary artery right there. And I think the first separation I'm gonna make is gonna be right here. So I can get a big flat piece of meat I'm gonna trim that guy up. Here I have a thinner but flat piece of meat. I'm gonna cut that out. Then 
kind of a big thick something. I'm gonna find a way to trim this. Let's see here. I think I'm gonna cut this into two pieces. This one's thick enough to survive. And this thing is very cold, colder than my wife's heart even. Just kidding, love you babe. <laughs> but we're gonna trim these guys up and get them ready to cook. All right, this is the fat that you're gonna wanna trim on the exterior, right? So I wanna get all this fat off because it's not gonna be something that's really palatable, not something you really wanna eat. Then on the inside, I have these membranes and this kind of, I don't know if these are blood vessels or connective tissue or what, but I wanna get that off as well. So I'm gonna trim both sides so I have a big, clean piece of muscle, very, very lean, but still something that's gonna be uh, tender if cooked properly and very, very flavorful. All right, first one done. We see all muscle, all meat here. I'm gonna trim all the other pieces exactly like this. All right, they're trimmed up, ready to be seasoned. So I'm gonna use salt and pepper only because I wanna get the flavor of the heart to come through. So season them up and throw them on a very hot grill. It's about 550 degrees right now. So we're gonna sear them really well. Then we're gonna move them to the cool side of the grill to finish off. We're looking for about a medium rare so they stay nice and tender, seared hard, and then rested long. All right, these guys are ready to pull off. We left them on about four minutes on each side and the thicker pieces just take longer. So those took longer than four minutes. The thin pieces took shorter than four minutes because the heart is not an even piece of meat. We have to treat each piece of meat differently. So these guys are ready to come off. We're gonna slice them up. We're gonna try just the meat itself and then we're gonna make something special. I'll show you what's coming up. All right, first we're gonna cut this right down the middle and we're gonna see how we cook this big piece of meat. I'm hoping for something that's still pink and tender on the inside here, let's see. Oh yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, exactly what I wanted. Um, the redness will show up more as it sits out, but this is beautiful, still juicy. It's not been overcooked and dried out exactly like I want. All right, I'm gonna try this. It looks beautiful. Even this piece on the edge, nice and red. Uh, mouth is watering, let's give it a shot. Oh, this is so good. Imagine like the full flavor of a sirloin, but nice and tender. I cannot believe how tender this is. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, wow, this is great. So I was concerned that it might be too gamey. Uh, it might have too much of an irony type of taste but it doesn't really have much of that. It's got some of that. You can tell that it's something different than, you know, if you're eating filet mignon or something like that, but it's still 100% enjoyable. It's not weird and awkward in any way. And then combined with some other flavors that I'm gonna show you in a second, this is gonna be perfect. So good. All right, if you look at the color now, uh, it's had a, a chance to kind of 
relax a little bit more. Um, this is exactly what I wanted. This is like a medium rare. This is like a medium over here. And so this is all beautiful meat, something that I'm gonna enjoy eating a whole bunch. All right, I've been hinting at it for a while and my favorite way to eat heart steak is in tacos. because you have this marriage of all kinds of different flavors that just highlights the specialness that you get in heart, kind of the iron mineral type of flavor that you don't get in other kinds of meat. So we're gonna eat some tacos, but first we're gonna take these corn tortillas and we are going to toast them on top of the coals. Now I'm gonna show you how I construct my favorite tacos. Now one, different ingredient here is the chipotle sour cream. And all this is, is you take chipotle and adobo in a can from a store, the easiest thing to find. You take that, you chop it up, and you mix it with sour cream. The more you mix in, the hotter it gets, so you just mix it to the heat level that you like. So just kind of keep adding chipotle until you're like, okay, this is perfect for me. And at that point, you're ready to use it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that, spread it across the tortilla, chop up some meat, put it inside, Add onions, cilantro, and lime juice over the top, and that's gonna be a perfect, beautiful taco. All right, so here's my perfectly constructed taco. Mouth is watering, cannot wait to try this. Uh, but I put cilantro on this and my wife, Erica, hates cilantro. She insists that cilantro ruins everything. So if you agree with her, let me know in the comments down below. If you think that cilantro is good, like I do, let me know in the comments. But until then, I'm gonna try a bite of this and it's gonna be amazing. Let me give it a shot. Hmm. Okay, that is the taco to end all tacos. So with some time, you see that this is perfectly done. Um, sometimes in the natural light, it's kind of hard to see, but if you give it a few minutes, you see exactly how it's done. This is exactly what I wanted. The flavor is amazing. You get kind of a deeper, richer flavor because that heart muscle is working all the time. And uh, it's something different and unique in terms of, you know, beef muscle that you're eating, you know, beef meat. So I love this. I can't wait to eat more. As a matter of fact, I'm going to devour this taco. Cheers. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe down below, hit the like button, and then also hit the notification bell. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, Erica, this is so good. I can't believe I don't like cilantro. All right, so funny story. My next door neighbor just had heart surgery, and I thought, what better way to recuperate from heart surgery than having heart tacos? So, <laughs> went over, knocked on his door. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna eat meat until I die. Which I can get behind. So, I'm gonna send him some uh, heart tacos and hopefully he enjoys them as much as I have because they have been delicious.